everyone, I'm Beaver, and this is Park Attack, a game about making parks and making money, and we're going to be doing plenty of that. See, I'm currently enrolled in Econ 201, Basic Principles of Economy, and as the semester is rounding out, I've come to realize that my true calling is making money. Now, not to toot my own horn too much, but I do have a pretty amazing grade in this class, so my expectations are very high, and I'm not stopping until I make $10 million. Luckily for us, my new park is a bit developed already. Now it's nothing crazy, but at least I'm not starting from a blank slate here. Now we just need something to really bring in the visitors. But first things first, not to repeat the mistakes of my uh, last park. Let's go ahead and hire some staff now. One entertainer, a security guard, two custodians, two porters, and finally, my main man Jeff for my mechanic opening. Now that's taken care of, let's move on. If I've learned anything, it's that nostalgia is a money maker. Why do you think so many companies are just rehashing material from our childhoods? It's because we're all so desperate to get that feeling we once had when we were kids. That sense of wonder and hope that's been crushed out of us. And they know that we'll throw money at anything hoping to spark that feeling again. So I think it's only right that I implore the same consumer friendly tactics here. And I think I know just the ride to capitalize on this. Come on, come on down the hottest ride East Nevada. It's fun, it's family friendly, you can bet your sweet behind. Most of all, it's wild. There's a legend out there about a certain ride, the longest car ride in history, Mr. Bones' Wild Ride. I'm sure you've heard of it. Only the most elite members of society have ventured onto his tracks, and those who find themselves taking a ride never come out the same, if they ever come out at all. No, Mr. Bones' Wild Ride is a life-altering experience, a culmination from the greatest minds of all time. With such a reputation, people from far and wide will come to take a pilgrimage on his tracks. Or at least that was the thought, but uh, nobody seems too interested in riding it anymore. I guess today's generation just doesn't have the attention span for a three year long car ride anymore. <sighs> Maybe I should add some uh, subway surfer footage to the dashboard of the cars or something. All right, well, I've invested a lot into Mr. Bone's wild ride, and it unfortunately does not seem to be paying off yet. I'll leave it alone for a while, maybe they'll come, give it a shot, fall in love with it. But let's get back to making money. Alright, everyone knows that the real cheddar cheese comes from food and merchandise. You think I'm making money off these rides? Do you know how much power it takes? The amount of resources it costs. But a t-shirt that somebody got 10 cents to make that I can turn around and sell for $45. That's what we call a profit margin right there. We'll go ahead and make sure that these booths are scattered nicely throughout the park. Balloons, toys, cotton candy, drinks, we want it all. Set everything to no less than a 400% markup, of course. And hey, you know what? Why not even charge to go to the bathrooms? What are they gonna do, not use it? I'll make sure to put ATMs at every intersection so that they never run out of money. Now, we just need a complex underground system to transport all the goods and staff to the stalls to make sure we never run out of stuff to sell. And hey, look at that, we're making money. Although after all this, I can't help but feel a little bit hollow. Maybe there's more to life than trying to collect as much money as possible. Perhaps I should try giving back to the world, trying to leave it in a better state than I found it. That's it. For every visitor in my park, I'll plant one tree. Okay, let's see here. That's about a thousand guests or so, and one tree is... You know, who even likes nature anyways? Okay, well that took a little while. Maybe they've uh, warmed up a bit to Mr. Bone's wild ride. Let's take a look at the Google reviews. What? Oh, if they don't want Mr. Bones' wild ride, I'll give them what they want. No, what they need. What's wrong? Can't handle five seconds without a hit of dopamine? Then do we have rides for you? Come on, take a seat in one of our many TikTok tabloids. Scratch that itch. Give in. Accept it. You know you want to. Modern man is nothing more than a cattle being drip-fed notifications, replies, and stimulation. Let dry for all they're worth, and before they even notice, they're nothing more than a hollow husk of what they used to be. Oh, but I left out one small little detail. See, I'm not showing them shorts, slides, reels. No, no, no. I'm fixing 
the population, no matter the cost. Once they go in, they can't get out. Not until I let them out. They're becoming what we needed them to be. Warriors. To tear down this forsaken world and build it anew. To build it stronger. Better. And in time, they will be ready. Oh, surprise! The time is now. Go, my minions! Free this world from its artificial overlord. Tear down the machine. You have nothing to lose but your chains. Wait, where are y'all going? They're getting snacks. I guess you can't tear down the bourgeoisie on an empty stomach. <laughs> Wait, th they're going back in. No. No, that's not what's supposed to happen. What's even playing in these things? Wait, this isn't my propaganda. No, no, this isn't right. Where's my mechanic? What have you done? Who are you working for? Wait, you're not even Jeff. Who are you? Come here. No. No, no, no. This can't be. What... What have you done?